In this segment, we're going to be talking about watering infield skins. Moisture management in an infield is the most important part to having a good, safe, playable surface. When watering infield mixes, the best approach is to apply the most water after an event to let that water soak in overnight. One mistake that's typically used is trying to hydrate an infield mix right before a game. In that application, not enough water can be applied to hydrate the column. One common mistake is in the middle of summer when infield mixes are dry and firm. The temptation is to open the infield mix up using a nail drag or a ma machine that will work the infield mix up deeper than an inch. That is not recommended as it will affect the grade of the infield mix. A very basic tool to use to determine if your infield mix has the proper moisture is a simple key. And using a key test is a great way to determine your moisture on your infield mix. A key should be inserted and removed easily through the profile. When doing a key test, it's very basic. Take a normal key, insert it into the infield mix, and remove it. The key should be pressed in cleanly and removed cleanly without disrupting any infield mix. Bottom line, moisture management creates a softer infield, not working it up using a drag. The Fishers Department of Public Works, Hamilton Southeastern Schools, and Sports, Southeastern Program of Recreational Team Sports, have partnered in a number of ways to provide increased services to the schools, students, and residents of Fishers by assuming maintenance responsibilities of school grounds. The partnership allows the district to use capital project funds rather than those from its general fund for this expense, freeing up resources for classrooms and teaching positions. The result is improved overall condition of the school grounds, paving the way for an increased number of competitive team events on school fields for all age groups, from kindergartners to varsity athletes. This partnership also decreases the need for fishers to build more athletic fields for youth sports and focus on diversifying our park inventory to meet the needs of a diverse community.